forgot <laughs> earlier I was going to tell you. you I, I trimmed up my facial hair. Mm -hmm. And you said that it makes me look like... Like Abraham Lincoln. Because right. you got the... Because it right, it's like just right a little, the, little bit. Just the tip. Because I was getting sick of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I've been thinking about it. And it finally clicked. Do you know who I feel like now? If you only had it got rid of the, the mustache. beard? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Xehanort. Oh, no. <laughs> the king! <laughs> oh, no, you're right! So today... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna just, just spoil it. I'm really excited to talk about today's movie. I am too. Um, I because usually we're like, oh, let's talk about it, and then oh, what did you think? Oh, no, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Like, so today, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting real. <laughs> today we're talking about a new release uh, by the title of Queer Japan. It is directed by Graham Colbanes. I think, I'm, I'm so sorry, Graham, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I looked for how to pronounce it on the internet and I couldn't find it. Oh no, the internet failed you. I know, I'm so sorry. I bet you could have just emailed him. <laughs> Please forgive us. <laughs> so, yeah. Queer Japan is a new release uh, that is, it's a documentary that was filmed over the course of several years with Graham and several like assistants in Japan mm -hmm. where he basically just went around and he just talked to a bunch of people. Yeah. And and that's the movie. Mm -hmm. Um and that might that's like that's probably a really reductive way of describing it, but genuinely, like there's no narration, there's no setup, there's no anything. It's just just various queer people from Japan talking about their lives. Yeah. I noticed that like about midway through, I was like, oh, you know what? Like this is just really like, it's almost like having a conversation. Yeah. And it was so nice. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I really enjoyed that. The, it felt like there was no bias. I suppose there's a bias because there's kind of a bias in everything that's made. But it, I really liked that there wasn't this like layer of watching through the eyes of someone else, like watching right. through the eyes of the interviewer. Right. And really right. just connecting with the people who are on screen. Yeah. I really liked that. Yeah. I honestly don't know how much I have to say about it other than it's good and you should go watch it. Yeah, I think everybody should see this. Um, it's it's really good. It's so interesting. It's so <laughs> colorful. And there, mm -hmm. there are so many, they go to like lots of different places and different settings. And we meet a lot of um, different types of people and it was just like, it, yeah, it's like I said, it was like having a conversation, like just like a warm sit down and just like, hey, let's talk about this Yeah. in a way that like nobody seems to want to talk about this. No. And, and I just really like, it felt really fresh and it felt really just like not in your face, mm -mm. like not like hitting you over the head or anything. Just like, hey, these are real people and yeah. you know. Let's have a conversation with them. Yeah, I, w I was gonna say it's very humanizing. Yeah, I, I think that'd yeah. be a good word for it. I, I loved it. Yeah, because there's basically, like I said, just conversations with different people and you've got all, all kinds of them. Like, like you got manga artists, politicians, mm. um, just just people, just like straight yeah, up. Yeah, bar sit owners. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure they spoke with more people than are actually in I the documentary. So. I believe so, yeah. But don't worry, there's more to come on that. Yeah, Z Z wink wink. Wink wink. D you should go watch the movie before something else happens go on this channel. Go watch the movie! <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of representation, there's there's gay men, there's lesbian women, there's trans men, trans women, non-binary people, Yeah. Uh, bisexual people, there's just like... It, it, it did a good job of hitting a lot of points on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Yes. Yeah. And I, I appreciated that. There, and there wasn't really like, a, I, I didn't feel like there was like a big focus on any group. It, no. it, it jumped around between, between different people. Um, and it was cool because there were some people who actually like interact with each other as yes. part of the community. And so you actually got to have some scenes of them like going to an event Mm -hmm. at, like that they were both at or mm -hmm. something like that, which was really cool too. Yeah. Go going off of that, mm -hmm. I think from an English speaking perspective, this movie is really, I want to call it really important 
because uh -huh. it pro it's it provides an ease of access to a huge part of Japanese culture that like isn't super easily accessible in in English. No, and yeah. So, I mean, besides like the internet, I suppose. But even sure. then, like, like it, it takes all of that that you might find across the internet, like where you might find different groups or different individuals talking about certain issues or mm -hmm. having certain conversations. Yeah, it kind of takes all of that and puts it all in one one movie. Yeah, one one place where you can find all of this information really condensed. It's a it which should never be taken as a generalization. No, of it, course not. It, no. It's a good jumping off point. Right. It's a right. good place to start in understanding the queer scene that is currently in modern day Japan. Right. Because I think a lot of media can warp the perspective of what that's like. Yes. And yes. I, th I think that goes for any for any media mm -hmm. for any medium mm -hmm. in any country oh absolutely like, i mean absolutely i mean i distinctly remember when i was in high school we had a um, some exchange students from from denmark and because of because of american movies they they all thought that we carried guns like they, every, they, 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 every single person like right. even the high school students they they were very surprised that we didn't have guns i i do think media and it, and, yeah. and the way cultures are presented really can shape perceptions mm -hmm. and and I felt like this was a really good, like I said, jumping off point to start to understand the queer community that exists in Japan. Definitely. Yeah. I think everybody should watch yes. this. <laughs> yes. So it's available now streaming. It's from the uh, LGBT label Altered Innocence. It's available to view like right now. You should go check it out. Go check it out, and specifically go check it out if you like this channel and you want to learn more about it because we're not finished talking about this. Ooh, exciting! <laughs> what uh, what other LGBT uh, movies, documentaries, or otherwise mm. do have we not covered on this channel that you would want to see in the future? Because we're always looking for suggestions, especially for underrepresented mm -hmm. or niche. Uh, communities or categories, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, what what other LGBT representative movies uh, do you want to see us talk about in the future? Yeah, yeah. Or any other minority group. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Anything. Mm -hmm. This is Baby Zanort <laughs> and and Kylie Bear <laughs> signing off. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh my gosh! I can't believe you just used. You used it <laughs> to end an episode. I can cut that out if you want. No, it's fine. It can stay.